So imagine it. You know, uh, I was talking about how we get, even if Randy Santel, Santel and Katina can't do it, we get somebody else who looks like, you know, Eskimo from the South or from the North Pole right up there, even more Eskimo. Like, we got to have, like, a group of people that look real white and, like, you know, we can do the, like, Edward Cullen effect on them. Like, they've been endlessly hit by the um, North Pole, you know, uh, magnetosphere coming through. So, the point is, you know, the plot is the North Pole swings over there. So then, to over there to Russia and beyond to uh, above China, whatever that's called, Mongolia over there. So then, he's got like a big, you know, laser there. I think I talked about this already somewhat on camera. Um, so then she shows up because she's like, you know, one of those people who has sex at the North Pole forever because, you know, all the Earth's energy is pouring through. It's true. It's a true fact. You want to have sex all day? You know, go up there when the aurora is pulling through the crust of the planet. So, like, the point is you've got Arnold, you've got Lou Ferrigno, you've got um, Shen Shing and the Ten Dings, I don't know. you got whoever else, and they're all running from this big army of, like, the horde, you know, that's, like, come over from, like, you know, Turkestan or whatever. And they're, and so they've been, like, running for, like, a couple of days across the Baked Plains where, like, there's, like, volcanic activity underneath there. And it's, like, 140 degrees. And, like, horses can't even cross it. So they took a shortcut and got past the army that was cutting them off. So then they're headed for the Great Wall of China, you know. And they're still running at high speed. And they're covered in sweat and they've all shrunk down. And then the giant orgasm laser shoots out and hits the army behind them as they're going to catch them. And then the whole army, you know, the horses and all the men start orgasming and falling all over with semen flying everywhere. But then, like, they're so majestic that as it hits them, they just go, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, you know, and they're just all orgasming and running majestically. And it just, it was just the greatest scene ever.